In this video, we explore the beautiful and unique city of Venice. With its stunning architecture, intricate canals and rich history, it really is a place like no other. Join us as we explore some of the sights and activities Venice has to offer. Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. As you might be able to see in the background, we've come to Venice and it's a place that I absolutely love. I've come here three times in the last eight years, I think. It's such a photogenic place and somewhere that's so unique. So I'm really looking forward to exploring over the next four days and hopefully coming away with some nice images. We actually got a really early flight this morning from London, so arrived at Venice in our hotel room at about 11 o'clock. So it's gonna be a really long day, but when you're in a wonderful place like this, it's quite easy to, uh, to stay away. Soon after checking into our hotel, we started to explore and it wasn't long before we saw some of the main sites. One of the best things about Venice is wandering around with no direction and you just enjoy the scenery as you get lost. For the afternoon, we enjoyed a good mix of quiet canals and busy squares. As the evening drew closer, I made the most of the blue hour light to get these shots in the Dosaduro area. We then ended our day with an Aperol spritz at a local bar. The next morning, I got up early to photograph sunrise. This morning's shoot, I've come down to the main square. I've come down to the waterfront to get that classic shot of Venice. Really quiet morning this morning. It's just wonderful to get out at this time when there's just no one around. And you can really sort of enjoy Venice at your own pace. It's really, really great. Not sure if I'm gonna get that colorful sunrise. Um, yeah, it kind of, it's quite cloudy in, in the direction that the sun is rising, so I'm not quite sure, but um, at the moment I'm enjoying getting these blue out shots. I've said it before, but getting up early in a place like Venice really is the way to go. I mean, I'm just sort of walking through the main square and I've pretty much got it all to myself, apart from a, a sweeper over there, but it's just absolutely spectacular. So peaceful, so quiet, really enjoying it so far. I think the plan for later today is to go to Burano see the colourful houses. I've only been to Burano once before. Um, I went to Murano, uh, which I thought was Burano. And uh, yeah, it's not quite as spectacular, uh, not as interesting, but uh, still nice nonetheless. So I don't think we'll do Murano this time around, but we'll see. Another thing I like about getting up at this time is you get to see all the locals kind of going about their business and you know there's loads of people sort of sweeping the paths and lots of uh, delivery drivers as well and yeah, it's just so interesting to see how how different things can be in in a place like Venice. Later that morning we decided to visit the island of Burano known for its brightly coloured houses and lace work. To get there it involves a 45 minute boat trip
seeing the colourful houses along the canal really was a great sight and we couldn't have asked for better weather. To get some nice photos I used a long lens to focus on some details. You can of course walk along the main canals and through the main squares, but the best thing we did was avoid the crowds and find some quiet alleyways with no one around. Of course during lunchtime the restaurants were busy and we did have to wait a little bit to get a seat. If you're planning on a nice meal here I would probably suggest to book ahead. Soon after lunch we decided to head back and it seemed like everyone else had the same idea. We couldn't believe how busy it was and how long the queue was to get back on the boat. To avoid the crowds here, I would recommend a visit to Burano in the morning or late in the afternoon. As we arrived back in Venice, we made the most of our 24 hour boat pass to catch a water bus on the Grand Canal. This was a really good experience and a great way to see the Grand Canal without spending a lot on a taxi. For the sunset shoot we went to an area surrounding the basilica and unfortunately the view I wanted to capture wasn't available due to construction so instead I focused on some shots from the air. We then headed back on the water bus for a blue hour cruise along the Grand Canal. It was really nice to see all the buildings in this light. In the evening we went for a short walk near the hotel in a neighbourhood where a lot of the locals go out to eat and drink. The next morning I headed back to the Academia neighbourhood to improve on the compositions I found a day earlier. As you can see I've got a really nice frame here, such a beautiful beautiful scene. It's blue air at the moment so I'm getting that nice contrast between the, the candescent lights and the sky. This is a location that I scouted out uh, a couple of days ago I think and uh, yeah just love the scene, love how the, uh, the, the canal winds its way to that that tower in the background. On the way back to the hotel, I took the opportunity to see the Rialto Bridge without any crowds. At lunchtime we went to a really great gelato place called Suso. It's near the Rialto Bridge and we really recommend this place. After lunch we headed to the Castello neighbourhood which is much more relaxed and where a lot of the locals live. The area around the arsenal was really cool as well and we came across lots of nice places as we walked back to the Rialto Bridge. We then had a drink next to the Rialto Bridge. We got really lucky here and a table just came available as we arrived. We then went to a place called Backy and Pasta where you can get some fresh pasta at a reasonable price. In the evening we went for a walk close to the hotel and came across this iconic shop.
Another food place we went to a couple of times was Farini. You can buy pizza by the slice here. It's really good and it's great value as well. The next morning, I got up really early to catch a boat to Burano in time for sunrise. I was inspired by a visit the previous day, but I felt I couldn't quite capture the scenes I wanted with all the crowds. So there's only one way to do it, and that's to wake up before everyone else. Luckily, the boats were running at this time, so I could make my way there. And it was an amazing experience to have this place to myself, and I probably got some of my favorite images from the whole trip. Capturing some footage from above as the sun rose was really special as well. Without the crowds, I started to notice things I missed the first time, including these cool reflections in the water. Before our flight in the afternoon, we enjoyed a relaxing walk and enjoyed the sunny weather while having a drink in one of the many squares. We also tried another pasta place called Beppe, which is really good. And that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did want to find out more about our itinerary and if you're planning a trip to Venice yourself, feel free to post a comment below. Thanks everyone and I'll see you in the next one.